This is me in the middle of a build of a computer right here. This is one I've had for a while, but I'm upgrading it. It's an NZXT Vulcan case. Cougar SX700 modular power supply. What I'm upgrading is I'm putting in an MSI. I don't know if you can see it there, but an MSI 890GMX uh, motherboard. That's a micro ATX. And I'm putting in one of the brand new FX4100 bulldozer CPUs. Now, in order to cool this, I'm going to try and stuff an Antec Cooler 920 in there. So that would be fun because I needed to clear the side case and clear my video card, which on this motherboard is basically right at the top. So we'll see how it looks. I'll get back to you when it's installed. Okay, there was a shot of the 920 by Antec. That's the pump head. I know it's not a great shot. Pump head comes with the paste installed. I'll be taking that off and putting on some new stuff. The fan I put on there is actually one that came with my Vulcan case because it's got the orange LED on it. I have an NZXT fan controller that I'll control this one with, but the front one that will actually draw the air through will be a PWM fan that is attached to the pump head itself. So, just a little update on what it's going to look like. Wanted to show you guys a little trick I learned from installing my uh, Corsair cooler that I had that I put in another build. If you take the first fan on the case and you just throw, you'll see right there, throw a couple of screws diagonal on the case just to hold the fan in, it'll make your installation a ton easier because now you can position just the radiator and not try to hold both in place. Set the two screws, remove the two fan screws, and finish it up. Alright, installation's done. Believe it or not, the whole installation, just to get the radiator in, which is, a lot of people say the hard part, I don't find it too hard. As long as you do that two screw trick, you're good to go. Just make sure you put the front fan on first, because you won't be able to fit your screwdriver in after with the power supply and all that crap. But, uh, yeah. Not a bad looking little setup right there. What I'll do is I'll uh, clean the grease off the pump head and uh, apply. Let's see, I'm putting on this, putting the uh, Noctua NTH1 thermal grease. I've heard really good things about this stuff. So we're going to find out how well it does perform. Be back with you in a bit. there it is installed. I haven't wired it in yet with this cooler. The, here it is, the USB plug that they have right here. You do not plug that in until you install the supplied CD software because there have been reports that it burns out the USB 2.0 sockets, which is not good. But, uh, yeah, I just got a lot of wiring to do right now. Clean it up, wire in all the fans, and fire this bad boy up and see how it's doing. I know it doesn't look like much now, but it's going to be one badass unit when it's done. And the next shot will be when it's done. This is the sound of a jet engine. <laughs> sounds so loud now because I don't have the uh, fan controller software installed yet so it's running full tilt um, and for some reason the LED on my uh, front fan on the radiator isn't working which it did before so I'll have to check that out but it fired up 